Hello, I'm Kashif, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Sometimes customers ask us what's the best way to transfer large amounts of data from one Amazon S3 bucket to another. For example, how do they transfer more than one terabyte of data from one bucket to another? Today I'm going to show you different options you can use to transfer large amounts of data from one S3 bucket to another. Let's get started. Depending on your use case, there can be different options to transfer existing data between S3 buckets. For example, use S3 batch replication through AWS S3 console to transfer existing objects. Another option is to use multiple powerful EC2 instances in same AWS region as source or destination bucket and then use AWS CLI sync or CP command and copy multiple prefixes in parallel. Another option is to use S3 batch if you already have CSV manifest files or S3 inventory report containing list of objects to be transferred. Another option is to use S3 disk CP operation on Amazon EMR to perform parallel copy. Another option is to use AWS Data Sync to create a task to quickly transfer objects between buckets, although there will be additional data sync costs. But if you want to replicate new objects that are not present in S3 bucket, you can use same region replication or cross region replication depending on location of destination S3 bucket. In this tutorial, I will take you through AWS S3 patch replication feature, AWS CLI, and AWS Data Sync to transfer existing objects from one bucket to another. Log on to AWS S3 console. Choose Source S3 bucket. Choose Management. Scroll down and choose Create Replication Rule. Give rule a name. Choose apply to all objects in the bucket. Choose browse S3 to select destination bucket. Select choose path. In IAM role section, choose drop down and choose create new role. Choose other options as per your use case and choose save. Wait for option to appear asking if you want to replicate existing objects. Choose yes, replicate existing objects. Choose submit. Choose browse S3. Choose S3 bucket to be used for completion report. Select choose path. Choose save. Now I will show you second option for using AWS CLI to transfer objects between buckets. I will use hyphen hyphen include and hyphen hyphen exclude operation to create more upload threads. As this operation will require a lot of resources, I will use a t2.2x large EC2 instance in the same region as source S3 bucket. Depending upon the amount of data to be transferred, you can use a larger instance with enhanced networking as per your use case, and even create multiple EC2 instances. Assuming that the bucket contains prefixes that begin with a number, we split workload into two parts, 0 to 4 for first part, and 5 to 9 for second part. First, I will configure AWS CLI parameters to optimize for transfer speed. Let's open a terminal window in the EC2 instance where we have latest version of AWS CLI installed and we can run AWS CLI commands. Depending upon the size of files to be transferred, you can increase multi-part chunk size 
for which default is 8 MB. We will double this to 16 MB for our case. Use a value as per your use case for your transfer. I will execute command to set multi-part chunk size as shown. Similarly, I would double maximum concurrent requests from default of 10 to 20. This controls the maximum number of transfer commands that are allowed at any given time. I will execute command as shown. Now we will open multiple terminals to run AWS copy commands in parallel. In this case, I will open only two terminals for simplicity as I have divided prefixes in two parts. You can open more terminals as per your use case. In first terminal, run command as shown to copy the files with names that begin with the numbers 0 through 4. In this command, I am only including objects that begin with prefix 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and excluding all other prefixes. Please note that prefix name starts directly after the bucket name. Similarly, I will open a second terminal, run command as shown, to copy the files with names that begin with the numbers 5 through 9. In this command, I am only including objects that begin with prefix 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 and excluding all other prefixes. Thus, you can parallelize data transfer by using multiple prefixes. Let me take you through another approach to use AWS Data Sync, although this will incur additional data sync costs. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to Amazon Data Sync Console. Please note that I will keep default values for most fields in this procedure, but you can change them as per your use case. Choose Create Task. Choose Create a New Location. Choose Amazon S3 in Launch Type. Choose Source S3 Bucket. Choose Auto Generate to create an IAM role. This will take a minute to populate. Choose Next to configure Destination. Choose Destination S3 Bucket. Choose Auto Generate to create IAM role. Choose Next. Give this task a name. Scroll down and choose Auto Generate to create a CloudWatch log group. Choose Next. Review the task settings and then choose Create Task. Choose Start. Choose Start with Defaults to start task. Choose See Execution Details to monitor task progress. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.